Shalom Israel, Most High Christ Bless. Another 15 minutes with Captain Aye and I got Officer Emmanuel. Guess what we going over today, Israel? Dress code. <laughs> dress code. Guess what, men? Guess what? Skinny jeans ain't your dress code. <laughs> Women, tight spandex ain't your dress code. Men, knee highs ain't your dress code. Women, tight shorts. Little dresses that show butt cheeks ain't your dress code. We finna go through the scriptures to show y'all Israel dress code. Because why did the Most High have to give us a dress code? Because first off, we was living and walking after the uh, uh, after all the uh, ways of the Egyptians. So watch this. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 18. I think that's verse 3. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 3. This is why the Most High had to set us up a dress code. Watch this. Leviticus 18, verse 3. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18, and verse 3. Come on. After the doings of the land of Egypt. You hear that? After the doings of the land of Egypt. Your dress code. Just like now and today. Who, what, what, what doings you doing after now? America. Babylon the Great. A Greek, a Greek Roman custom. That's how we dress. We dress like the Greeks and we dress like the Romans. We have been westernized. Rick? Wherein ye dwell, uh -huh. shall ye not do. Shall ye what? Shall ye not do. Shall ye not do. We should not dress how the other nations dress. Why? Because we have our own dress code. Come on. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, uh -huh. whether I bring you, uh -huh. shall ye not do. It says ye shall not do. Come on. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Let's see the dress code the Most High left for us. Give me Exodus. I think that's chapter 28. We're going to get Exodus 28, verse 42. Exodus 28, verse 42. We're going to see the dress code. Come on. The book of Exodus, chapter 28, verse 42. Read. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Make them what? Linen breeches. Breeches, meaning pants. Pants. And read. To cover their nakedness. Uh-huh. From the loins even unto the thighs shall they reach. So the Most High instituted what? Pants for the man. Yes. It don't say woman right there. It don't say woman right there. So go from there. Watch this. Go from there. To, uh, watch this. Give me Isaiah 52 right fast. Watch this. I want Isaiah 52 first. I want Isaiah 52 and 1 first. The book of Isaiah, chapter 52 and verse 1. Read. Awake, awake. Uh-huh. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Uh-huh. Put on thy beautiful garment. Put on thy beautiful what? Thy beautiful garment. That's what we were. Garments. And guess what? Go on those garments. Give me Numbers 15, verse 38. This will go on your garments. We have a dress code, Israel, and it's not to dress like the other nations like we did and when we was in uh, captivity in the land of Egypt. We dressing just like the Americans. You have been westernized. Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Uh-huh. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the children of Israel, which is you black, Hispanics, and you Native Americans. Come on. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. In the borders of their what? Of their garments. Do you hear that? That's what we were. Garments. Garments. That's why I said in Isaiah 52, put on your beautiful garments. Read. Throughout their generation. We still generating. So this law is still in effect. Come on. And that they put up on the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So guess what you put on the bottom of that garment? The fringe with the border of the ribbon of blue. Come on. Verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. A what? A fringe. A fringe, not tassels. <laughs> a fringe, not tassels. Come on. That ye may look upon it. We use the fringe to look upon it so we would. And remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So we can remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. That's what the fringe is for. We going through the dress code, Israel, because the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are totally different from the, West, uh, from the rest of this world. We don't supposed to look like everybody else. We are royal people, and we need to dress like it. Watch this. Let's go to uh, Ezekiel chapter 16. Watch this. We're going to go to Ezekiel 16. Start at verse 11. 
the book of Ezekiel. Start it up. Verse 10. Verse 10. Chapter 16 and verse 10. Uh-huh. I clothed thee also with broided work. He said he also clothed us with broided work. Come on. And shod thee with badger skin. Uh-huh. And I girded thee about with fine linen. Uh-huh. And I covered thee with silk. That's how we, that's how some of our garments be made. In those different textiles right there. And watch, watch what else our garments be made in, Rick. I decked thee also with ornaments. Uh-huh. And I put bracelets upon thine hands. We have bracelets, meaning we have armbands to go with our garments. Read. And a chain on thy neck. You know what? A chain on thy neck. I got on one of my chains now. It ain't no big cross. <laughs> it's the line of Judah. That's right. Read. And I put a jewel on thy forehead. Uh-huh. And earrings in thine ear. Uh-huh. And a beautiful crown upon thine head. Watch this, Rick. Thus was thou decked with gold and silver. Uh-huh. And thy raiment was of fine linen and silk. Uh-huh. And brought it work. Thou didst eat fine flour and honey and herb. Uh-huh. And thou was exceeding beautiful. Uh-huh. And thou didst prosper into a king. You hear that? It says we was exceedingly beautiful. And we and it says, and thou didst prosper into a kingdom. We will look like a real nation of people once our dress code get right. And once we start to keep the commandments of God. We have to look like royalty and not just say we royalty. Read. And thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty. Uh -huh. For it was perfect through my comeliness which I had put upon thee, uh -huh. said the Lord it God. It says it was perfect through my comeliness which I put upon thee, said the Lord. The Most High gave us a dress code. Only thing we got to do is go by. We cannot continue to dress in the manners of the other nations. That's what we like to do. Why? Because we like to do why? Watch this. Go to Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. This is our problem, Israel. This is our problem right here. The book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Watch this. Envy thou not the oppressor. This is our problem. We love envy and the oppressor. The, the, the enemy get it. We got to get it too. But we, what we do, we take it to the next level. The next level. Read and choose none of his ways. Choose none of his ways. Who taught us they uh who taught us a new dress code? Your enemy. Your enemy. Why? Because they don't they know exactly what to do to keep you in sin. So what did they do? Uh what's that the late 1800s? They came out with uh uh overalls. The white woman came out with overalls. I think her name was uh, uh Amelia Bloomer. She came out with overalls. And saying since the man was going to war and the women was at the house doing the duties of man, that they should wear the pants. And who did they uh who did they like get the help? The 50s, cause it was like World yeah. War II or something. Yeah. And what she, who did she call up on? The black woman. The black woman. When she was standing strong right there beside her black man. But when the women rights movement came around, guess what? The black woman wanted to wear the pants just like the white woman. But guess what though? The white woman still obeyed her man. Because why? Because a the pants put on a masculine spirit upon women. That's why watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. That's why the Most High gave us a dress code. For we could know how to dress. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Watch this Israel. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Do y'all hear that? It says the woman. Should not wear that which pertaining to a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. It said, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Come on. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So what do men wear? What could what could a man sit up there and wear that'll be a woman's garment? Here we see the rappers do it all day long. Dresses. Dresses. Cross dressing. What do you women wear that pertain to men? Pants. What are you unzipping and flipping? Mm -hmm. Nothing. We are cross-dressing. And who taught us this? Our enemy. To do what? To keep us in sin when the Most High gave us a dress code. When we came out of the land of Egypt. 
Why? Because we was walking in all the ways of the Egyptians. Now we walking in all the ways of Babylon the Great. To this very day. And we have a dress code. We are a royal people. We have to start to act and dress like it. He says, and thou shalt be an abomination unto the Lord thy God. An abomination. Will an abomination make it to the kingdom of heaven? Let's see. Let's get Revelation chapter 21, verse 27. The book of Revelation chapter 21, verse 27. Uh-huh. And there shall in no wise enter into it. Enter into what? The kingdom of heaven. Read. Anything that defileth. Uh-huh. Neither whatsoever worketh abomination. Cross dressing. This that's you working of abomination. You men out there that's six four, six five, two hundred and thirty-eight pounds in a dress and high heels. How do a how do he get this size 13 foot in some red bottoms? No abomination. You sisters that love to wear them tight apple bottoms. All because a rapper brought them out. Apple bottoms. You keep wearing them apple bottoms and that apple going to fall hard from that tree. <laughs> it says no abomination going to enter into it. Read. Or make it they life. Uh -huh. But they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. So look, we have a dress code. Our dress code, the, we, the, men, and the, the men and women, we have garments. The men, we have long garments and we have pants. Breeches. Breaches, or in the South we call them breaches. The Most High instituted that. Why? Because we was walking after all the manners of the Egyptians. So we have a dress code, Israel. We just don't know it. Why? Because we are what? We are stuck in Babylon the Great, and we have been we uh, Westernized. Watch this. Go from there. Give me uh First Edges chapter one, verse one through two. Watch this. The book of First Esther, chapter one, verse one. Uh -huh. And Josiah held the feast of the Passover in Jerusalem uh -huh. to his Lord, and offered the Passover the fourteenth day of the first month, uh -huh. having set the priests according to their daily courses. According to their daily courses, read on. Being arrayed in long garments. Being arrayed in what? Up? Long garments. Long garments. Read. In the temple of the Lord. So guess what? Our dress code was the garments. With the what? Breeches. So what, what do our women supposed to wear? Watch this. Go to 1 Timothy 2 verse 9. Just go to 1 Timothy 2 verse 9. It's 9. Come on. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. You know what the word modest means? Not dressing in a manner to entice a man. To attract sexual attention. So our women dress in what? Long dresses down to the foot. And guess what? They ain't so tight fit to show her butt cheeks and her cleavage. It says modest of pearl. That's how our women dress. Come on. With shamefacedness. With shamefacedness. Shy. Not all in a man face. Read. And sobriety. Uh-huh. Not with broided hair. Or gold or pearls or costly array. Uh -huh. But which becometh women professing godliness with good works. With women professing godliness with good works. So our women got a dress code. It's dresses all the way down to the foot. Modest or pearl. Because when Christ returns and you ain't got the dress code right. Go to Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. Zephaniah 1 verse 8. And then we, we got to get how Moses' garment was. We got to get it. Zephaniah 1 and verse 8. The Watch book this. of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 8. Come on. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice, the, 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 re, the return of Christ. Read. That I will punish the princes uh -huh. and the king's children. Uh -huh. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. All those that are cross-dressing. That's clothed with strange apparel. Men and women paint, uh, clothing and men, women and men clothing. So let's get how some of our um, ancestors' garment look. Let's go to uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 45. 
Remember, Israel, this is about our dress code. We have a dress code. We're the greatest people on the planet Earth. You think the greatest people on the planet Earth did not have a dress code? You see now today that we have a dress code. Watch this. Read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 45, and verse 6. Mm -hmm. He exalted Aaron and holy man like unto him, uh -huh. even his brother of the tribe of Levi. Who was his? Who was Aaron's brother? Moses. Read. An everlasting covenant he made with him uh -huh. and gave him the priesthood among the people. Uh -huh. He beautified him. He what? Beautified him. It says he beautified him. Come on. With comely ornaments. Uh -huh. And clothed him with a robe of glory. Come on. He put upon him perfect glory. Uh -huh. And strengthened him with rich garments. With rich garments. Israel read. With riches. With what? With breaches. Do you hear that? You Exodus 28, verse 45 said what? Breaches. 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 Read. With a long road. With a what? With a long road. With a long road. Read. And the ephod. In the ephod. Come on. And he compassed him with pomegranate. It had what in it? Pomegranate. Man, imagine that thing. Pomegranates. Hmm. Where be what? 87 32. <laughs> Moses' garment had pomegranates. Read. And with many golden bells round about. You said, you heard that? Many golden bells. And we ain't talking about no Christmas. Hmm. This is how we dress, Israel. This is how royalty dress. Read. That as he went, uh -huh. there might be a sound. And a noise made that might be heard in the temple uh -huh. for a memorial to the children of his people. It says when he was walking, you, you knew when Moses was coming. <laughs> Royalty. Read. With then holy garment. Uh -huh. With gold and blue silk. With gold and blue silk. It's crazy because when I had my wedding feast, my garment, the garment my wife made for me was gold and blue silk. Read. And purple. And what is our camp garment color? Purple. Read. The work of the embroidery. It says the work of the embroidery. Read. With a breastplate of judgment. Uh -huh. And with Urim and Thummim. With twisted scarlet. Uh -huh. The work of the cunning workmen. With precious stones graven like seals. It says with precious uh, stones graven like seals. Read. And set in gold uh -huh. the work of the jeweler. We've been having jewelers. We've been having jewelers. Look, Israel, we royalty. Where, where you think the nations get it from? They get it from us. They get every, all the dress codes and everything. The, 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 the king and queen of England, they dress royalty because we were royalty. So Israelites was jewelers before TV Johnny. Before TV Johnny. <laughs> okay. Read. With a writing engraved for a memorial Free. after the number of the tribes of Israel. After the numbers of the tribes of Israel. So look, Israel, we had a dress, we got a dress code. Only thing we gotta do, open this Bible up, read our history, understand that we have a dress code, and know if you go outside of the dress code, you're an abomination unto the Lord thy God, and no abomination gonna enter into the kingdom of heaven. Israel, this dress code. With Captain Aye and I'll see Manuel. Shalom.
that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't singing that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.